Hey there traders, this is the wake up call. I hope everybody had a good night and we are ready to rock and roll here. I wanted to make sure my volume was working. Uh, not much action last night, but we did have a signal right here uh, to go long. The Euro USD at the 130.105, 130.106 level. I'm going to wait on that trade until we get a break of this range that the pair has been consolidating in. Uh, you can see, I guess, the trade lower from 130.87. Um, moved down to uh, break even and now has closed out basically um what was it from 130.87 looks like that now has closed out at uh, break even so that was a plus 50 trade not too bad uh well you can see that the uh, pair um what I'm going to be looking for before I jump in this pair is a break of this range on the 131.20 and the uh, 130.18 level. And if we get that, then this could be a really nice switch switch up. And we get a break here, we could break this range. And actually, I could think, see the pair moving all the way up. And of course, it would matter if we break through this point. 131.50 level, we can move all the way up towards the uh, 132.08, 132, uh, 132, 132.50 level relatively easy in that cross. So we'll watch the uh, trade, and there's the signal at the 131.06, and we're just waiting for a break of that range to jump in on that pair. Uh, you could go right along right now, right here, and it's the normal thing. You set your stops, uh, what, 50 fifths? 50, probably 50 pips low gets you around 131.50 uh, looking for the same exact move the Aussie USD that trade came so close to trading and he said it still looks like it's very close there to get you up a hundred pips on that trade to the downside from let's get uh, right here uh, from the downside at um, 130, 102.70. Oh, actually, I'm, for some reason, I have 102.82 in my mind on that on that trade. Uh, 102.82, which basically means you probably jumped in around 182.84 to 85. Um, so you are very close to be getting uh, close down that trade plus 100 will help make up some of the losses for all this chop here <clears throat> that started the week out if anybody took those chop trades. Great Britain USD still at the moment. Um, still at the moment in a very narrow consolidation range uh, you can see uh, basically between 150.150 and 150.80 we'd like to see a break of that range before jumping in but that's uh, neither here nor there the trade is still signaling short from 150.124 which is basically about break even right now, and it looks like it definitely had a cross over uh, overnight at 151.12, which would have closed half the trade out at that level, which actually would have been up uh, what 10 pips. So it's not the end of the world right there uh, in that pair. Um, but what we'll be looking for is I favor a move higher, but I'm mean, that's just my opinion. We'll watch the price action here, and we still don't have a signal either way. So what we're watching in North America is for a closeout of this Aussie trade, uh, which looks like it can happen any second now, and to uh, get us get into this Euro trade with any break of this 131, 23, 25 level as a good opportunity. And like I said, the Euro JPY just consolidation on a very tight scale there today. And if you want to jump down on the uh, euro into the five for any scalping opportunities you can see that the trend right now does favor continued move lower we're about to get across uh, so basically if we get that 131.25 cross we'll probably definitely have a nice scalp that will set up also in the euro usd and with the great britain pound usd on the five minute for a scalping trade you can see that uh, it's favoring a move lower but this is just pure consolidation right now so i don't see anything jumping up into that so we're looking for a break on the scalp of the uh, 131.25 level level and on the euro jpy same thing you will need to see um, a break of this current consolidation range to jump in as i did talk about the uh the Mm, what looked like to be a triangle that the pair was trading in and well basically it looks like it's either at the very bottom of the triangle or it really wasn't a very effective triangle which I did mention at the time that I didn't have too much faith in it just because the risk reward even with the break wasn't that strong on either side. Alright everybody good luck trading keep a look on the Twitter feed and keep it keen.